So this one is not even a service bulletin, but it's a tech tip, which are kind of interesting things. Oftentimes, uh, Lexus or Toyota will release these tech tips uh, to the dealerships when they know there is something going on with a car, but they don't want to release a service bulletin. They don't have any updated parts and they're trying to investigate the condition and find out what's going on. And uh, oftentimes, um, Later on, it's followed by a service bulletin where they have determined the cause of the problem and they've come up with a repair process or updated parts. So this one addresses a noise or abnormal operation of the rear coupler to the rear differential. Sometimes uh, you can get a all-wheel drive system warning on, on the display and there may or may not be any diagnostic trouble code stored. And this affects the NX200 and 300 the non hybrids, and RX350 and the 2021 ES250. This would be just the all wheel drive model. So, what they want uh, the tech to check is uh, has the vehicle been towed by a method not approved by Toyota? And that would be, let's say, towing a vehicle. Uh, on the ground without using dollies or towing, uh, you know, with a tow truck with just the front wheels in the air and the rear wheels rolling because there's a coupler that connects the rear differential to the rear drive shaft. And that gives you like that variable uh, ratio for front uh, to rear wheel power distribution. And if you're towing with the wheels on the ground, then it can start slipping and it can get burnt. So they want uh, the tech to ask the customer, hey, has the vehicle been towed uh, in an in approved manner? Or has there been excessive wheel spin and loss of traction? Because that may cause the same thing. So you're stuck in snow or mud and uh, you're spinning the wheels really hard and then you get some traction, the coupler starts slipping and it gets burnt. So they want to check, um, they're going to ask you, hey, has this happened? If no, they're going to get to remove the rear differential coupler and inspect it. So then they want to see if it presents a surface appearance as seen in the images below. So in essence, here we have some pictures of the burned couplers, the blue or brown or purple. And then they say that there are a couple of plugs there and they change to black color because of the heat that was generated inside the coupler there. And then they want to go and check, hey, um, is the vehicle 2020 or newer? So this again, um, it seems like they may have updated this part or something's happened, but they're not being very forthcoming about it. We don't exactly know what's going on. They just want to know, hey, is this the newer model? Because presumably on 2020s, they've changed something. So. If you see these problems on the 2020, uh, then they want to know about it. So if it is, they want to replace the rear coupler assembly and then uh, create a DPR for potential part recovery. So in this case, they would request the part back from the dealer and then they would inspect it to see what's going on with it and uh, you know if their updates have worked. So this is an interesting tech tip. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it and potentially there will be a uh, service bulletin in the future. But uh, if you are having issues with a noise or check all wheel drive system message, then potentially this may be the problem. All right, see you on the next episode.